Well, please turn in your Bibles to 1 Samuel chapter 13. I'm enjoying our study in the Old Testament. Here we are, back in 1 Samuel, where we left off. Last week we looked into how Israel had asked for a king, and God gave them a king, Saul. He was a promising young man. He showed humility before Samuel the prophet. He waged war by the power of God's Holy Spirit. He gave glory to God when he was given the victory over the Ammonites. And he didn't take personal revenge on those who had slighted him when he was chosen by God to be king. So, so far, so good. Everything is going well for Israel and their new king. However, you see from this morning's title that in chapters 13 through 15, things take a turn for the worse for the King Saul. That we see Saul's failures, particularly in chapters 13 and 15. And that's going to be our focus this morning. Now before we read chapter 13 and dive into God's word, I want to get your thoughts going along what we can learn from Saul's failures. And here today we're going to see that Saul's faith in God is tested in very severe tests. And that God allows us as his children to be tested so that... What is in our hearts might be revealed. When you think about tests, you might think about academic tests. That when you were younger, like me, and you were preparing to take the ACT or the SAT exam, you might still remember that stressful day when you took that test for hours and hours. And it was designed not to make you a good student, but to reveal what kind of student you had been for the last 13 years of your life. And so that's the way it is with the tests that God brings into our life. 